bill, sections one and two, um, just seek to recognize the, the findings of the Supreme Court and the Heller decision from, from last summer, which basically established that gun ownership is an individual right and that um, local governments or, or actually any government in, in the U.S. could not um, put individuals in a position where they couldn't defend themselves and their homes. And we still have some laws on the books with regard to safe storage in Colorado. So what the first two sections of this bill, the first half of this bill, seeks to do then is just um, wipe out the statutes in Colorado that um, are, are so-called safe storage statutes. And, and what that will do is it will just, just say the citizens of Colorado or some poor citizen of Colorado, um, the, the trouble of being forced to go to to the courts and have the courts say, yes, indeed, that the Supreme Court ruled on this. So, so that's what the first half of this bill does. It makes it a matter of statewide concern and it just wipes out the uh, so-called safe storage. So what it says is that if you are a manufacturer in Colorado of a firearm or a firearm accessory that's currently legal in Colorado, and if the feds pass a, a law that would ban that type of firearm or accessory, you would still be able to sell to citizens in Colorado if you manufacture that firearm or accessory here in Colorado. Uh, and then, of course, I added a severability clause to the bill in case this Section 3 were to be found unconstitutional. And that, you know, in, in, this, in this Supreme Court, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm positive that as I read the history of the U.S. Supreme Court, this would be fine prior to 1935, it probably had a little bit of trouble after 1935, and I'd like to test it right now. So that's what the bill does. It's one of those little four-page bills. Be happy to answer any questions.